So I'm here uh, with Kat, one of our designers at Ecstasy Crafts, and she made this spectacular uh, like cheers card. Very bright and fun. I really like how this card uh, can be applied to like many different holidays. It doesn't have to just be for New Year's. I think this yeah. one specifically was for New Year's, but there's no reason why you couldn't do it for ourselves. Right, else. exactly. Actually, my inspiration came from my sister because she is a piano teacher. And I saw the piano mm -hmm. keys and I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta make her a card. And then I decided to do New Year's because she always has a New Year's party. Right. So that's how it came about. <laughs> okay, so walk me through this, uh, this card making. Okay, so um, basically what I just started to do here is uh, fold the card into what the final shape is going to be and then uh, assemble it that way. Uh, I wanted to make it look like a real piano so that's why I did like the easel, the easel card. Right, yeah I like that. Yeah. So you knew obviously the width of this card beforehand? Well what I did was I cut the die out first, the piano keys, oh, right, and okay. then I measured to to make sure that they would fit on the card, seeing mm -hmm. how, how I did that there. And then that's how I decided how big my card was going to be. Right. Yeah, I like this. This is pretty cool. It's like a very improvised card, I found. Like, uh, you know, there's no instructions for this. You kind of just No, I kind of just it. came up with it, right? As soon as I seen the keys, I was like, bam, there's an idea in my head, yeah. and I'm just gonna make it happen, so, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so this is layering the keys. Yeah, just layering it. I just wanted to pop them up so that there's something when you uh, stand the easel card up that the keys are elevated there with the 3D foam tabs so that it holds it. Yeah, I really like Otherwise that. I think goes flat. because, you know, a natural piano would have the black keys that are raised above the white keys. So this is just like perfect. It's almost like it was designed, you know, to do that. I'm sure it was, but I really, really like that. Yeah, so then here, um, because uh, I wanted to use the same shape on the top of the card, I just used the die to trace it and then cut it out by hand because I wanted it to, to go right into the keys there so when you open it up, there's no like white empty space. So that was actually the back of that die, Yeah, it's right? the back of the die. I just flip it over and use yeah. it as a stencil cool. to cut it out. And then the top part, I just kind of freehanded it because my sister, like I said, is the piano teacher and so I see her grand piano all the time. But I also did Google it and looked online for pictures of a grand piano. I was pretty impressed to, to see how that. like it just turned out so well, this yeah. grand piano. Like, you know, I almost thought that was a die or something, yeah. right? But no, it was good. And then this glitter paper is pretty cool. Yeah, so I used the glitter kiss on there and I just applied oh. it to a brown paper because I find that when you use the glitter kiss to use the color it is. So if you're going to use red glitter kiss, use red paper. Or if you use green glitter kiss, use green. And it really brings out that the shimmer and the color, right? Yeah. You would never know that was brown paper. No. No. So this, um, this all came from one die set, right? Yeah, all these elements here, except for that little tiny sword. Except for sword. the sword. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I just... This is probably my favorite part of the card. I just <laughs> love this martini glass. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah, I like it... this too. You just get your hands dirty. like. Yeah, there's no really like set. You know, you just wanted to make the rim with some glitter on there so it looks like, yeah. Yeah, like you're having a real martini there. <laughs> yeah. I know. I'm a, like, you could do all different types of drinks yes, with this too, right, not yeah. just a martini, yeah. but no, very clever. Yeah, so the other Sue Wilson die that has the sword in it comes with other drinking glasses, so you can do fancy cocktails or whatever. Right. Any glitter color would really look great. This is cool too, like you could have just put a piece of of red paper underneath that, right? I like, could have, yeah. So here I'm just cutting it so that it looks like there's like somebody drank some liquid out of the glass, like their drink, you know, and that's why oh. I have to cut it to make it a little bit shorter than the glass. And then the actual other triangle is part of the die set. So it's, it's meant to go inside oh. so it doesn't look like there's a, a drink in the glass. Right, but this little like 3D, this cone paper really makes it like that depth kind of yeah, pop out. Yeah, it gives it that 3D and mm -hmm. realness of it. Mm -hmm.
And then that fits just inside? Yeah, that just fits inside. I just chopped the bottom off so it didn't stick out the bottom of right. the glass. But yeah, I, you need to put that inside so that it doesn't look like you can see the other paper in there. So without right. that in there, it kind of looked weird. So it, okay. it actually looks like there's a drink in the martini glass. Yeah, yeah. So. And you did this, the red with the glitter kiss as well? Yes, yeah, like I said, the glitter kiss on red paper, so mm -hmm. it really brings out the red. This was so clever, I just love this part. Yeah, so I thought, you know, you need to put a mart uh, an olive in your martini. For and sure. It's got to be through the sword, so. Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> great. It's a little finicky, but, you know, you can get it to work. Mm -hmm. So here, here you just want to score the lines so that you have something to to sit when you open the easel card. That there's a bottom part that will sit on top of the keys nicely. And right. Yeah, this looked like it was a difficult score because it's that double. Yeah, it was a little bit difficult, and I maybe suggest using like a scoring board or something like that. Maybe right. Maybe make it a bit easier. Yeah, like now I can. It's starting to come to life, right? Like you're mm -hmm. starting to figure out what. Um, this card is going to turn into. But I really like how it all sort of comes together at the end. Well, it was a really fun project and I liked working with the glitter kiss. It, it really brings that extra sparkle oh, to your cards for yeah. sure for any occasion, like like the birthday card that I did or the Christmas one. Right. Yeah, see this I thought was interesting because you can barely even see the embossing folder, like what it did to the paper on yeah. camera right there. But then, what a testament to these like color boxes. Yeah, for sure. Just a little bit of ink on top of that embossed part really brings out the, the keys and everything. So yeah. whether whatever you're embossing, just a little bit of color on top and it, it brings out the pattern. Yeah, fantastic. exactly. So they're just aligning the card. Yeah, you just line the bottom up there to the where you put the crease in the top part, and, and that's it. Yeah, and then the keys are already on there. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, just like that ending, I, I love how it just all comes together. That's so cool. Thanks. Like I said, I had a really fun time working with the glitter kiss and the, the, the keys. It turns out great. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much, Kat. Thanks, Matt. If you guys enjoyed this card, be sure to visit our blog post for some more in-depth instructions. All the items are available from Ecstasy Crafts and everything is linked in the description below. I'm feeling very thirsty all of a sudden. I think I need a drink. <laughs>